international law forces Britain to stop arms sales to Israel. No politician should spend their later years facing legal proceedings at the Hague. Consequently, the 17-page legal letter sent to David Cameron and Rishi Sunak by 600 of the nation's top lawyers carries significant weight. Whitehall officials are also closely examining the details of this letter, which bears the signatures of three former Supreme Court justices, including Lord Sumption. They recognize that, in matters related to genocide under international law, the defense of, I was only following, orders, holds no validity. The letter forcefully argues that, UK ministers and officials may face, charges of complicity to genocide, and aiding and abetting genocide, unless the country swiftly alters, its course and its dealings with, Israel. It contends not only that arms sales, to Israel should cease to mitigate, this risk, but also that Britain's strategic partnership with Israel should be suspended. Furthermore, the letter calls for sanctions against prominent individuals likely including Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant who have made statements inciting genocide. In summary, the legal argument for an arms embargo emphasizes the necessity of taking serious action to prevent UK complicity in grave violations of international law, including potential breaches of the Genocide Convention, right to self-defense. Israel indeed has the right to self-defense. However, international law stipulates that self-defense actions must be proportionate and adhere to the rules of war. Lord Sumption emphasized this critical point. The framework of international law does not grant countries unrestricted actions, even when provoked or subjected to outrageous attacks, limits on self-defense. Self-defense does not justify indiscriminate violence against innocent civilians or children. It does not permit attacking aid convoys, withdrawing visas from aid workers, or intentionally targeting hospitals. Even in self-defense, there are boundaries to what actions are permissible under international law. The International Court of Justice has deemed it plausible that Israel is committing genocide in Gaza. As a signatory to the Genocide Convention, Britain has a legal obligation to promptly halt actions that pose a serious risk of genocide. Failure to fulfill these obligations would result in the UK bearing state responsibility for an international wrongdoing necessitating full reparation, foreign secretary stance and legal implications. While Foreign Secretary Lord Cameron has taken a firm stance with Israel, mere words are insufficient. According to the convention, signatories must take all possible measures within their power to prevent genocide and remain compliant with international law. The lawyers emphasize that serious action is essential to prevent UK complicity in grave violations of the Genocide Convention. The UK must act now in line with its obligation to prevent genocide. The legal letter calls for the UK governmento suspend the supply of weapons and weapon systems to Israel, providing military assistance and material to Israel could render the UK complicit in genocide. Additionally, the UK might face charges of aiding and assisting war crimes under other aspects of international law. UN legal experts assert that such Transfers are prohibited even if the exporting state does not intend the arms to be used unlawfully as long as there is a clear risk. The majority of Israel's weapons imports 69 percent between 2013 and 2022 originated from the US. Germany accounted for 30 percent, while the UK contributed less than 0.1 percent. Despite our small exports, only 42 million pounds in 2022, the International Court of Justice is unlikely to consider this a valid defense if a legal case were brought against the UK in the future. Our exports to Israel encompass explosive devices, assault rifles, and military aircraft, including drone components. Countries suspending arms sales to Israel, Canada, the Netherlands, Japan, Spain, 
N. Belgium have all halted arms sales following Israel's offensive in Gaza. A pre-strike poll conducted by the Charity Action for Humanity revealed that 56% of UK voters support an arms export ban to Israel. Additionally, 59% believe Israel is violating human rights. In Gaza, additional measures beyond an arms embargo. The legal letter proposes four other actions for the UK to genuinely comply with the Genocide Convention, actively work toward an immediate and permanent ceasefire, ensure aid reaches Gaza, including continued payments to the UN's Palestinian Refugee Agency, impose sanctions on those inciting genocide, suspend steps in advancing the UK's strategic partnership with Israel and urgently review the current bilateral trade agreement. While an arms embargo holds symbolic significance, these measures could have a more substantial real-world impact on Israel, considering the UK's limited arms exports.